Mount Thunder. That's where we gotta go next, but Alakazam told us we should do as much training as we can fit in before the big day. We talked it over and decided the best use of our time was to become a bronze rank rescue team so this expedition would get more support from the guild. We climb Mount Steel once again and perform some rescues. After all, best to train for the mountain that creates electricity on the mountain that conducts electricity. We saved a whooper from starving. He came with us to bring his own brand of smiles to the group. Tyrogue, Metatite, and even the beefy bug joined up as well. I felt beefier with him by our side already. When we reached Skarmory's roost, she was nowhere to be found. I wonder what happened to her. Execute joined up as well and was surprisingly good at jumping. Help, I'm friends with Wormpole because we both evolved fast. Please help! Now that's not very nice. We thought it was best to train against electric types in Thunderwave Cave next. No one remembers to eat anymore, but we helped out the stingy Zigzagoon anyway. We picked up some delivery work that would be easy to do along the way. A lot of good rescue teams do this actually. It's a great way to earn extra cash. Third up was Oddity Cave, where we beat a Pidgey into submission. Cause the Zigzagoon can't stop losing things, we picked up this precious belonging for another one. We rescued a mushroom that doesn't grow in this forest to avoid throwing off the ecosystem. There was no need to learn Pursuit, it does more damage if the enemy has a bad status, and that just doesn't come up often enough. We had a rescue where, boy met girl, we saved a Hound Dower and a Sentrant chose to join up with us. Not to mention a mysterious new friend who none of us know what they look like. And there you have a successful day of rescues. Some might call it excessive, but that next rescue team rank was right within reach, so we took on a fourth day to train for the big fight. This time, in Sinister Woods. Sudo Widow thought they could brighten the mood around our base, and not just as furniture. We rescued a Hoot Hoot just in time for Chamomile to learn Copycat. Or not. It just uses the enemy's last move, not too helpful. We got some more shock troops in the form of Scyther, and the little Hellspawn itself. Lightning! EXECUTOR! And last, we proved ourselves and became a bronze rank. Our camps will hold more Pokemon, we get a third page of jobs we can hold on to, more quick slots for rescue teams, and best of all, a larger toolbox. We can't afford to hold a celebration though, because this is what happens next. Hey everybody, it's Chugger Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, we had an encounter at the Silent Chasm against Zapdos. And before we could do any actual fighting, Shiftry was taken away. This time, let's do good. We must save Shiftry. Let's do our best like always, can we? Oh, do our best. Okay, so even better than let's do good. We can go to Mount Thunder now or later. In any case, Chamomile, let's keep up our good work. Did I really leave Shiftree to starve for four days in the clutches of Zapdos all because I wanted more money? Of course not. I had to make him wait for the especially climactic encounter because it's just going to be that awesome. But the treasure was a nice extra. Wait, one of us can learn Flamethrower. Oh, <laughs> not as exciting as I thought it would be. For the upcoming crawl, buying Vibrant Forest is a camp. Utah! I'm sure it's a nice state, but I've never been there. Scorched Plains as well. Sold off the gold ribbon. Shiftry was abducted, that's shocking news. Is that right? Shiftry was taken away to Mount Thunder. I wonder what that place is like. It sounds rather horrible. Oh, me? I couldn't possibly go rescue him. I'm glad to see you're back safe. Thank you, but Shiftree is in trouble now. Shiftree came and rescued me. I hope he's safe. What do you think, our son? Isn't the sea vast? Yes, Papa. Papa? Papa, have you ever got out to sea? Mm, of course! What do you take us for? Oh, you have! Uh, Papa, you're so special! I'm gonna walk away slowly and show that we have a Bonsai statue here now. 
This is a token uh, from the rescue organization thingy that we have reached a certain rank. Upon reaching bronze, we get this one, and Bonsly will start to appear in dungeons. It was in Sinister Woods and can be recruited with the Overgrown Forest Camp. In the rescue team camps, Buzzy Bow, Buzzy Bow, there you are, Buzzy Bow. It's been a while since the last gummy party. We have seven rainbow gummies, so we'll get plus three special defense, explosively growing on chamomile. Acquire a new rare quality, leave half. An apple max ether, a tiny reviver seed will remain in your toolbox after you use a big apple perfect. No, let's keep rapid bullseye. I'm very okay with this rare quality. Willow's up next. Getting plus one to HP and acquiring experience boost. Well, this is kind of awkward. So having this early on can really prevent us from needing to grind later. PP pouch is a good quality, but it's more useful in the longest dungeons, not anything that we're climbing up right now. And XP boost has a long-term benefit if it's gotten early on. XP boost it is. Buzzy Bo, I'm treating you as the third member of the team. You got some speed. Plus three to attack. Plus one to HP, first thing that was really useful. Plus one to attack. Uh, I was gonna give up on you, but redeem yourself. Attack three times out of five? Are you serious? All right. Not what I was hoping for. Not the Magnemite of my dreams, I have to say. But with that, it's finally time. Going off to Mount Thunder. Three members of the team. Uh, Buzzy Bo is the third member of the team at this point. We adopted them and they are so good and blindly loyal to us like the robot they are. You're gonna be taking the defense scarf once again. And it is time, departation. This is the foot of Mount Thunder. I wonder, is Alakazam's team already on their way? Well, they've had four days. Zapdos. It sounds very tough. Ugh, I'm shaking. I shouldn't get all scared now. Our objective is to rescue Shiftree. Chamomile, let's do our best. I appreciate your stick to to raising the power of your mantra. The XP boost is there. That might get annoying after a while, but oh well, we'll deal with it. Stantler is our first encounter here. This thing can have hypnosis, I believe. Sleep can be an awfully dangerous status. I'm so glad that you have light screen enabled. That's really nice. Look at you, man. Uh, look at you, uh, thing, I guess is more accurate. That sounds so mean, but it really is the case. Mount Thunder is an awfully strange place. Given the name, you'd be expecting to have to deal with lots and lots of paralysis. Though, it's honestly more poison than paralysis to worry about. A lot of poison attacks. The Nidoran can have uh, poison point as their ability when making physical contact. Uh, oh, you got echoed voice. Double slap! I'll teach you to steal my moves. Keep going down. Uh, move into my line of sight, please, so that Willow can leap ahead and make quick work of you. That ability makes it so worthwhile to stay in corridors and let the enemies come to you. It's been great. There's quite a few things that we got to do some catching up on. So for one, we found the stairs. We didn't catch up to Alakazam's team. Oh, I was hoping to do a thing. We'll slap this Cacnea silly. Look at that. Five hits for over 30 damage each. That's a pretty good move. But you want to know it's an even better move? Blizzard. I've chosen to bring Blizzard along so that toward the end of this dungeon, we can finally learn it. Zapdos is a flying type Pokemon. It's kind of a common trend that a lot of very strong Pokemon that we come into contact with happen to be weak to Blizzard. Sounds like a perfect opportunity to start it if you ask me. There's a pretty big floor. Uh, there's an item over this way. Might as well see what that is. Oh, hey. It is so cool how it uses Dragon Breath. That's such a neat move for a Trico to have. Just imagining this little tiny lizard having the potential of a dragon within its body. A lot of you have been drawing Trico breathing blue fire and stuff, and I think it looks so cool. It's a sight that I never even imagined before, but this adventure's made it a reality. Ha! That good voice? Good. 
I've been hearing some people say that Echoed Voice loses its effect if it's a linked move, and if so, that's kind of a shame. It's not that big of a loss to me, because I do have a super-powered move in the form of Double Slap, and it still can be good to have them linked due to the plus special attack. Though I think Echoed Voice is the move that I should... Or, actually, no, not Echoed Voice, probably Charge Beam, and then Echoed Voice can stay for a little while, so we have more options for normal types. Um, that'll probably be the next move I get rid of. Chesto Berry, that, uh, recovers a sleeping Pokemon back to its non-sleeping state, and hey, training switch! I brought a few training seeds as well so we could get our move levels up, and I think that this will just be the perfect opportunity for us to do a bit of grinding, so not gonna waste your time with that. I'll see you on the other side. Signal Beam got an upgrade. Cacnea has developed a kinship. I'm not gonna lie, I think that somebody who smacked me when I have, uh, Funnel Fun. Funnel Fun. What is Funnel Fun? The rate at which HP restores naturally when Pokemon are in a corridor is greatly sped up. It affects the whole team. Look at that skill shot! Getting those cor cut corners, multiple ones in a row. Chamomile got hungry. That's enough time spent on this floor. We'll move on over to Willow rather than use that. A fainted, a Heracross. Ooh, not feeding that would be heresy. I don't even know if that makes any sense. I just really wanted to say it. I don't think before I make puns, okay? That's how we got on the whole Daisy thing. Uh, so, I just gotta say that uh, we got a lot stronger right here. No, what I was going to say was level 20. Uh, not what I was gonna say. What I was actually going to say before being interrupted by myself multiple times over, hello music. Quite intense. You're more likely to see tiny apples in dungeons. Rare qualities affect your whole team. Tiny apples restore, I believe, 25% uh, percent of a belly, or at least 25 belly, because you can have more than 100 in it, so it's not really a percentage anymore, if that's the case. You understand the basic concept. Um, makes it so that hunger's not as big of a deal. Can be a good thing to have in just somebody in the uh, waiting in the wings. Uh, there goes the Graveler Rock. The Heracross. This is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. What do you got? I should really be checking. Oh, I can't check. I can't affect what moves you use. Endure, Horn Attack, Bullet Seat, Night Slash. High critical hit chance on that. Two to five hit move. I got Rapid Bullseye. You betcha you're coming along on this journey. May we not find a flying type, though. With this being kind of an electric y dungeon, again, it's a lot of poison types, a lot of bug types, a lot of normal types. Haven't really seen a whole lot of poison so far. I haven't seen a whole lot of electric so far, but trust me, it'll happen. You should be aware that, uh, yeah, we'll use poison on, we'll use this to kill Bill's poison. Poison is a dangerous stat, actually. That's far more pressing than what I was gonna say. Um, I was going to say that uh, it's impossible to paralyze electric types, so just be aware of that. That's why I don't have Thunder Wave on uh, Buzzy Bow any longer, and yikes, buddy. Uh, you need to cool it a little bit. Beyond that, poison is deadly, and it doesn't seem like it right away. It's a beginner's trap. I'm sure at some point you thought it hits for one damage every step you take, or maybe does a few damage after every turn. It doesn't do anything right away, but after several turns pass, if you haven't found the stairs or healed it, it smacks off 40 HP. Prioritize getting rid of it. If anything might keep you from the stairs, heal it. Since we're meeting Alakazam's team up ahead, I'd like to share a bit of a story I have with them. Alakazam's team is only ever referred to as Alakazam's team in the game verse. But personally, I've always referred to them as Team ACT, as again, that's what they had in the anime special, and I watched that growing up and all that. I've had a lot of you tell me that you like that anime special and that you thought it was really neat and you were excited for a Mystery Dungeon anime to happen. And you were so sad when, despite the fact that the first, the, the one episode of it that we got looked like it was setting up for an entire series, they just stopped after one episode. A lot of you said that you were, you were uh, tuning in every week hoping to see the second episode and you were really upset that you kept missing it and then only years later did you find out there was no second episode? It's so dumb because 
um, this uh, this anime opening, I'm gonna have it linked in the, uh, this anime episode, I'm gonna have it linked in the description because Pokemon's officially uploaded it to their YouTube account, which I'm not gonna lie because of the border around the video and how hokey the presentation looked, not to mention the fact that the video is interlaced. I thought it was a pirated copy the first time I stumbled upon that upload. <laughs> Uh, high compliments I'm giving to them though, but yeah, you can watch it for free on their YouTube channel. I have it linked. And what I think is so dumb about it, the fact that it's only one episode long, they made an intro and a theme song for it. And this intro recaps the events of the first episode to catch the viewer up on what's going on in the story. And thus, the intro to the only episode that exists spoils most of the content of the first episode. <laughs> With that kind of presentation, it's no wonder people thought that there naturally had to be more episodes and they were just missing something. I know I sure did, and I thought one was on the way and that this was a confirmation of a new series, but we would not get that until uh, a few games later. Okay, I gotta pause things here for a minute to tack onto this point. I went and I rewatched this special because it was coming up so much in the comments and it made me want to see it again, and it ends on saying to be continued! How could we not look at this and think, great, I guess there's two shows now. It even aired in English first. So there was no one year in advance warning out of Japan that we weren't getting more episodes. No, of course we all tuned in waiting for the next episode. What do they expect us to do? Sorry, this just reinvigorated a flame in me that has been burning for 15 years. I would beg for a show based on the story of Mystery Dungeon. Uh, let's swap this out. All right, not swap it out. Let's use something else. Switch back over to Chamomile and took the Big Apple. We have a hungry Pokemon that's gonna take our regular one. Don't want to use that up on somebody when the resources are better spent than us. May Nectric and something taking up the rear. You guys got it, right? I certainly hope so. Slap him silly. Man, I slapped him so silly I made him drop his wallet. <laughs> Give me that. Or uh, no, we'll go feed you first. Is this a Kakuna? Smooch him. I thought it was a Kakuna laying down. <laughs> munch, munch, munch. Leap ahead. Already got that one. I'll take you though. And then this gets picked up. Perfect. There's an enemy coming around the mountain when he comes, but it's okay. We're going to hop on the stairs and then keep going up. Then, think of that trove of items over there is looking so good that I'm leaving our brand new recruits to die because I'm just that good of a leader. It's okay, they had it. See, I, I knew they'd be fine. Apple. Gonna eat that apple as Willow. Gonna take the Graveler Rock. And sure, why not? Chamomile can have this now, just so all of our hunger is all squared away. Keep going down. Uh, I don't have a ranged attack, so Willow, you got this one, bud. At least I thought you did. Heracross, bud, you got this one! A level up for Willow! It's never the person that actually beats the Pokemon that actually gets it. Uh Always Pokemon taking up the rear. I gotta be looking at the map more. Oh, oh, that's bad. Attack goes down slightly when burned. Eat a Rossberry uh, or move on to the next floor. Fire type Pokemon will not get the status. Do I not got a Rossberry? I do. Ha I do got a Rossberry. Uh, yeah, I should use this. Any bit helps. <laughs> Oh boy. Sure, we have multiple tiny reviver seeds. That's why I carry these things. I was kind of thinking after I used it that Cacneo was probably dead in the doorway anyway. Uh, could you guys maybe move up and help him out a little bit? Thank you. Good one, Smoochum. Smoochum has a reputation for being immensely powerful at low levels. Um, Powder Snow used to hit entire rooms of Pokemon. I've already mentioned how good Blizzard is and it's able to learn that. Icy Wind could lower speed, it could learn agility, which the old version of agility affected not only movement speed, but also attacking speed. 
Uh, you would link agility or maybe something that lowered the opponent's speed to another move and effectively you just get to keep attacking for free all the time. It was great, though I don't disagree with their decision to change it. Shout at you in a corridor so it echoes even louder, and that's it. Taking the lead, gonna move up. Double slap! There you go. Thought you were gonna join us for a second because of the pause. Where are these stairs? Actually, where are these stairs? I'm starting to believe that stairs are just a mi There's a training thing. Uh, I was debating if I was gonna step on it or not, but the real leader of this team made the decision for us. Level up on Buzzy Bow. Saw your magnets up in the, saw you putting your magnets up in the air. Never saying that again. May Nectric join in. You have Lightning Rod for your ability. That's gonna be about the best darn treat I could have ever hoped for. Gligar is joining our side. I already have one of you, but I guess strength in numbers after all. Another main trick. <laughs> and he's a bargain hunter. Who would have known? This is our first time getting a ninth Pokemon in the party. No such problem here. You can just compare the moves, choose who you want to send up. Level 26, hello, my name is Carried. Thunder Fang, Electric Terrain, Fire Fang. Since I can't make you use status moves because you're a new recruit, uh, the one with Electric Terrain's gotta go. Just so long as we got one Pokemon with Lightning Rod, I'm pretty content. And it seems like it's about time for us to get going onto the next floor as I got only two belly left. Um. Let's restore up a little bit. Big Apple on Chamomile, as well as a Max Ether to restore back Double Slap. You're using Ember, which actually has a lot more range on it than I thought it did. But it's okay, we got Fire Breathers of our own on this side. Go on up, so many opportunities to train. I think I'm gonna have to call it eventually and not keep doing this, because we got a full party. We're doing absolutely fine. No need to keep doing this over and over again, contrary to what Magnemite thinks. Uh, you're, you're burned. Uh, you're getting hurt a lot, actually. I didn't bring a heal seed! I prepared for poison, I didn't prepare for burns! So, that guy is gonna be using up a heck of a lot of our resources in order to stay alive! Gonna double slap you, get a level up to double slap. Power of the move went up. Could not have asked for better news all day. Other than, the stairs. Please help me find the stairs, please. Be over here, please be over here, please be over here. There it is, there it is, there it is. Just gotta get through there before we die a horrible death, but it's okay, because Willow is a punching bag for us. Willow's just gonna pick up her apple in sadness over there. Uh, Pidgeotto. Like I said, man, let's see how much this two to five hit does. 40! 44 on first hit, and it can't miss. Level 21, good. And our next one, uh, I'm gonna make you stronger if I do that, so I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. That really hurt, but you know what hurts even worse? Yeah, me slapping you with the hands I don't have. Getting slapped with a foot would probably hurt a lot if you could harness the power right and get the arc just right. Smack you silly as well. Intimidate, we haven't seen that ability uh, before this dungeon. Growlithe has them and it weakens physical attacks on contact every now and again instead of just being a uh, solid attack lower whenever coming into contact with the Pokemon. Onto the 10th floor. Oh, that Growlithe is an enemy. Correct, I was like, wait, I don't have a Growlithe. <laughs> I didn't see the red ring around the bottom of it because we had so many things going on right there. Uh, tiny apple, eat that. You're hardening. Never understood how that worked. You're, you look awfully fleshy to me and not like a... What did you do to me? What did you do to me? That affects my move power a lot more than I thought it did. Whoa! I'm even luckier than I thought. Whenever a held item gets knocked off, remember to equip it once again. Does not get given back automatically after a battle. Uh, chamomile noticed that Chamomile's HP was very low. Would Chamomile like to use a healing item on Chamomile? I was going to say that a little bit ago we picked up an item that I haven't gone over yet, the Tunnel Wand. Waving it at a wall makes a wall crumble. If you wave it at a Pokemon, it'll damage them instead. 
This is a new mechanic known as digging. Pathways can be opened up in walls, and you'd want to do this because sometimes there can be items inside of walls. Oh. Some moves such as Rock Smash can destroy walls. Additionally, ghost-type Pokemon are able to walk through walls, though use a lot of belly to do it. There's also certain moves like Hyper Beam that uh, destroy walls, but they're so powerful that they incinerate any items caught in the crossfire. To be mindful of that, um, Tunnel Wands can have their uses. I'm not really a big fan of digging into walls. Sometimes you can find rare items, though, but it's just such a crapshoot that I often don't do it. We've climbed so high. I wonder if we're almost at the top. Oh, look, Chamomile! This is a Kangaskhan statue. It lets you move items in and out of the toolbox, so it's very useful on adventures. Remember to use it when you want to organize your items. Anyway, it's not far now. Let's keep it up. We're almost there. We can do this, Chamomile. Treasure. Find it. Find it. Ah, you're speaking my language, not like somebody over here. Oh, seems I also picked up a Confuse Wand. Waving it at a Pokemon makes them confused. No drastic changes to the inventory. Clean it up a little bit. We're going to climb higher after being momentarily afraid. It's okay, though. We understand. Mount Thunder Peak. First example of this happening. These count as effectively new dungeons thanks to that pit stop. Uh, not only does it look different, but our belly has been restored all the way back up. The Pokemon found inside can be different. What, what are our Pokemon doing all the way back there? Come on. Uh, Willow, you take this one. You know, you're, you're, you're good at fighting flying types. Anyone knows that. Uh, come on. Go over this way. If you'd be so kind. Uh, horn attack. Got an ambush there. And Heracross had an ambush to his ambush. All of our PP for our moves are restored, so it's very helpful just having this. Why are you guys such slow po Oh, it's Heracross. Heracross being second in line is slowing up everyone. Okay, thank you, thank you. I could have used a Cherry Berry. Not all that important. Most statuses go away. Shining spot on the ground over here. Picked up a gold ribbon. Yes! Oh, going to be so good, the TM that I'm inevitably going to buy with that. I'm sure it's what I'm going to do with it. Speaking of TMs, that's something that I gotta praise here. I know that there's a lot of interest in game randomizers. Pokemon's really big in that now where a lot of people like doing uh, randomizer runs and stuff like that. And I personally have a lot of interest in an official randomizer happening someday. If it would, I think that would just be a huge, it would vary up repeat playthroughs of Pokemon games. It would cause people to replay games that they might not otherwise due to not having nostalgia for them. And I also think that it could result in just new challenges. Everyone's always, no one can seem to agree on Pokemon difficulty. It's really weird. It's a franchise that I have never thought to be especially difficult, yet every time they do anything, it's always, oh, this new game wasn't hard enough, or other people going like, what are you talking about? This new game was really hard. And I think that's just because there's a lot of divides in how new people are to playing it. It's accessible for a lot of ages. I get where they're coming from on not wanting to, for instance, make it so you can find Landorus in the grass outside of Little Root Town. But what I'm getting at is the, the TMs being randomized in Mystery Dungeon. That's not such a bad thing, having random TMs that can be obtained at any time and doing that to all the TMs. It's making this playthrough exciting and different from all my other ones because I don't know when I'm going to stumble upon my best moves. It works fine here, and it doesn't just stop at the TMs. The shop inventories, random. The uh, dumb moves that I make, random. Uh, come over this way, please. No, no, don't. I was pressing A to pass turn. I didn't want it. No, it's a plus two. <laughs> I was saying, TMs, random. You don't know what you're going to get. They're randomized across every dungeon. Thank you guys for saving my bacon. That's what he was going to turn me into. <laughs> I think it illustrates very well how much a little bit of randomness could go a long way, and that could really solve a lot of people's issues. This is the summit. Hey, Zapdos, where are you? We came to rescue Shiftry. Come out. I warned you. I have no mercy for meddlers. I'm not scared. You don't frighten me. Hey, Zapdos, we demand you release Shiftry. We're a Pokemon rescue team. Must be determined to utter such words. Then you shall answer to my great and righteous fury. <laughs> Starting off, check items. This is what I've been needing to do for a while now. I'm glad I'm doing it now. All of our stuff is restored, but what do we have here? I got a sleep seed, I got a stun seed. 
Got this Blizzard TM. I haven't actually used it yet. Uh, should we use this? You know what? We got to the top sooner than I thought. I thought there was at least, I thought there was five floors to the summit and I was wrong. Let's learn this TM in the middle of the boss fight. Trying to learn Blizzard. You have to forget an old move to learn a new move. Honestly, Double Slap is so good and has the same range as Echoed Voice, it just doesn't hit multiple targets. I think that should probably go. Charge Beam also gives me a buff I don't get anywhere else. Willow using Quick Attack. Pressure caused the move, uh, the move to lose PP quicker. That is Zapdos' ability in action. Sky Attack! It's wrapped in intense light. It won't do anything for a turn, but what I could do... Chucking a Sleep Seed at ya! It's asleep. Guys, don't beat it up too hard. I don't want it waking up. Guys, don't beat it up too hard. I don't want it waking up. Thank you. You beat it up hard, just not that hard. Another thing the bosses are able to do is push you around. They can do that to mess with movement. We haven't seen that yet. This is our first giant boss. Double slap, go! Boom, look at that. Thing of beauty. It's confused from the signal beam too, and we got a double attack out of it. Magnemite sniping it. It didn't even attack us. I was gonna use Blizzard next turn. What is going on? Want more? I'll take you on! Enough. That's enough fighting. I've calmed down. Take Shift Tree back. You kids, you, you've impressed me. But things won't be this easy next time. I will go all out next time, so you'd best be prepared. Until then, you'd better hone your skills. Look, there's Shift Tree. Are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Somehow, I am. I'm glad you're safe. But that was an eye-opener. Driving off that Zapdos. I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain skinny. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps... You aren't a Pokemon, are you? Wow, how can you tell that? But you're right, Chamomile isn't a Pokemon. Chamomile is a human. What? A human? Is that possible? Can something like that happen? He doesn't understand very much either. He woke up one morning here as a Pokemon and doesn't remember anything about being a human. Oh wait, Lombre said something in the square. He said Alakazam knows everything. Alakazam, do you know why Chamomile became a Pokemon? No. I can't determine that. Oh, I thought you would know. However, there is a way to unveil the truth. Oh really? How? Make your way to the Hill of the Ancients. There you will find a Pokemon that stares into the sun all day. A Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his name. He should shed some light on your puzzling friend. Okay, so we should go see Zatu. Chamomile, let's go. Off to the Hill of the Ancients. We can't waste any time. Let's go back quick. Shiftery, you too. Let's hurry back. Uh, yeah. I guess we should. Chamomile! Don't just stand there. Let's go home. Alakazam, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? 
There is something that concerns me. But it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. Within the treasure chest, Steel Wing. Would have been cool if we got that when fighting Skarmory. A Zinc. And pressing B to open all chests at once. Something that I didn't know and some of you told me you didn't know until you'd 100% of the game. You're welcome. And thank you, because you're the ones who told me. We have several new team members in tow. And next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Feels weird to be saying that. There's not usually the opportunity for it. We're going to be heading off to the Hill of the Ancients in search of some answers. See you guys then.